Now that Wes and Dragon are gone, I can finally sit down and relax in Portland. Nope, I'm actually headed down to San Diego. These thins are just so thin. So we're making breakfast right now. Yeah, we Mimi's are. Mimi's in her robe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> we're making some avocado on English muffins, whole wheat English muffins, and like these whole wheat thins with just egg whites and uh, maybe an orange or something. AKA I don't know. we're super healthy. We're super healthy. So I landed in San Diego last night, just got. Huh. So I landed in San Diego last night, I uh, just got. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> so I landed in San Diego last night, got a. So so laying in San Diego last night, it was super late, so I just went straight to bed. Now it's like 6.30 in the morning, I'm gonna set up a gym membership. So laying in San Diego last night, yeah. So laying in San, <laughs> that's it. So I'm just following my rehab program right now, which just calls for running and then trying to get faster and faster and faster. So you'll see, I basically ran two miles and it started at 20 minutes, then 18 minutes, and today I did it in 16 minutes. So it's my personal best so far in this rehab process. And then I hopped on the bike and I biked for 20 minutes. Again, this is all part of my rehab process program and now I'm supposed to gradually get back into weightlifting so I just put on 45 pounds on the bar after a warm-up and all I did was five sets of five reps for this and this it wasn't hard but it just still didn't feel right I felt awkward and it just didn't feel great so there's five sets of five and that's all I did and then I came over here and just did two sets of 15 second planks because that's exactly what I need to do to strengthen up that. So very easy workout, that was it. I need to work back into this. So that's pretty much all I did in the gym just because I'm trying to work back in so slowly and it was nothing, but it just feels, I feel so out of it. I haven't weightlifted I think in four weeks. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to get back into the swing of things. Business Mimi. I haven't rolled up my sleeves yet. <laughs> 9.44 right now, I'm driving to drop off Mimi. Mimi's driving to drop herself off, and then I'm taking the car. I'm just a trophy husband right now, but it is an absolutely day. beautiful day. So happy. I love Portland, love Portland, but San Diego's weather, beautiful. I can't, I'm like excited to train versus like, oh no, I have to go train, look at this. Just went to the store real quick to pick up this soccer ball because I didn't want to travel down here. And I'm traveling so much between Portland and San Diego that I was like, you know what? I should just buy one and leave it down here. So I just bought this. And now I'm gonna start for the first time in a month, I'm gonna train. I'm not gonna hop into an intense training session. This one's just gonna be juggling. Um, I'm actually just gonna go to the beach because I'm in San Diego and I wanna juggle on the beach. So it's gonna be very, very light. I'm gonna do a thousand juggles, the same juggling routine that I always do, thousand juggles, but this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna play with a soccer ball in four weeks. I'm gonna be so bad, so don't judge me. Just got to the beach. It is beautiful, 75 degrees and sunny. The ocean looks amazing. I'm gonna get a juggle workout in, but I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy it for a little bit. and just that movement kicking going up it's not hurting but it's just sore and tired and a little overworked so I'm cutting it there 250 juggles it's gonna be a long time before I can really get back like into full strength training but it's a process and the rustiness is gonna take like one or two weeks and I'll get back in the swing of things and it'll be all good so I'm not worried about that at all it'll come I got a long long off season for those of you who don't know, my brother actually lives in San Diego too, so I'm about to go to his house right now. It's about a 20 minute drive. Um, but yeah, I'm excited.
wrong side of the same, I have the same in a while. There he is. What's up? What's up, big dog? That's the wrong door. Whose door is that? It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's the whole, that's the whole point of that. Now turn back at me and look at, give me a sexy look. Yeah, there it is. Lunch time. So for lunch we just went to like a local green place. It was like a Chipotle burrito bowl, but it was really, really organic and healthy, which was really cool, and it was really good. So after lunch, I just dropped Mimi back off at work and then I basically had an hour to kill before she was done with work because we had a late lunch. So I just went to the beach at sunset, watched that, went back to the car, chilled just on my phone for a little bit and now we're back home and we are gonna cook some dinner. On the menu for tonight, Alaskan wild salmon. We have butternut, squ butternut squash ravioli and asparagus. My favorite speared vegetable. <laughs> it looks bomb. It looks so bomb. All right, so about to eat this right now while we watch, where is this thing? That way. While we watch the new season two of Stranger Things. Starting episode one. Even though he already watched it without me. I watched the first episode. <laughs> don't ruin it in the comment section because I don't know anything. If you do, I'll ban you. <laughs> I'll ban you. Yo, you're banned from my channel. So next day right now, I'm actually just editing this up right now. Um, but yeah, I just wanna basically talk about off season and my plans for that. So basically for the next, I'd say two to three weeks, it's all about rehab and slowly integrating back into training and lifting and really getting ready to go. And this two weeks I'm seeing a physical therapist and I'm gonna be down in San Diego. I have some vacations planned with the family and just some different parts of the area, but pretty much it's just about the same thing as last year. Um, very strict training, very strict diet, very strict weightlifting, all that stuff to get ready for next season. In terms of where I'm gonna play next year, it's really up in the air. Uh, I would love to go back to St. Louis FC, love that team, love everything about that, love the facilities. Uh, there might be some changes happening there, I have no idea, um, but I'll keep you guys updated as soon as I'm updated. I'm still waiting and it's uh, gonna be a kinda rough off season in terms of a lot of free agents, a lot of moving around just due to American soccer system is very, it's changing a lot. I don't know if you guys heard, the NASL is dropping down to the third division, so the USL is staying at the second. There's gonna be some teams coming up in the USL, there's gonna be some new NASL teams, there's gonna be some teams that are just folding completely. So a lot of change, um, it's gonna be very, very crazy, but you know, hopefully I got a good place to play next year, hopefully I find a team, and hopefully that this next season will be great. So. I'll keep you guys updated, but honestly, that's all I know about next year, so it's very, very up in the air. And that's honestly what's very hard about being a professional soccer player, especially in America, where the average contract, especially in the lower divisions, in the second and third division, is nine months. Like, that's the average length. Most players are on just a nine-month contract. Then after that, they're a free agent, and they have to go and either get re-signed, they get released, or they find another team. So it's stressful, but... Uh, it's exciting at the same time. So yeah, that's what's going on with my life. Um, it's crazy, it's very crazy. But anyway, hit the like button if you're enjoying the content, if you like me being back, if you're gonna be excited for the off-season series. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.